trying to focus Eric Trump on about his knowledge of Mar-a-Lago and how it was treated in the financial statements. So they showed an email that he was on that discussed the treatment of how they, they were valuing Mar-a-Lago. And what we have seen throughout this trial now at the end of its fifth week is that for the financial statements, Mar-a-Lago was valued as a private residence, which allowed it to have a higher valuation. But we've also seen evidence that Mar-a-Lago, for tax purposes, was valued as a private club, which enabled it to have a lower value. So this discrepancy was brought to Eric Trump's attention today on the stand, and he testified that both are accurate. So he's agreeing that it is also a private club uh, while they were valuing as a private residence in the statement of financial condition, which the judge has already said is fraudulent. For thousands of New Yorkers, these people... They make their living relying on us. They feed their families relying on us. We've never missed a note. We've never missed a payment. We've never defaulted on a loan. We've got some of the greatest properties in the world. And because you have an attorney general that plays politics with everything, you've seen that time and time again. She effectively went after the last governor and threw him out of office because she wanted to run. And then she got 2% in the polls. All of you saw that. She's come after my father ruthlessly. Every single day a Trump is in this court. Guess what? She shows up. Why? Because it's her press moment. That's what she does. This is the type of person that's running New York State. At the same time, you have people getting shot in the streets. You had a little kid that got shot in the head in Times Square recently. You have people getting thrown in front of trains and stations. The city's going to hell, guys, and I hate to say that. I'm a person who left the city because it's going down the tubes, and it breaks my heart because there's no place I love more in the world. She should be an advocate for businesses that pay a lot of taxes and do great things and meet their commitment and pay off their debts, she should be an advocate for that. She should also go out and fight for the little guys as opposed to trying to be an advocate of Deutsche Bank, who literally loves us, who said we have done absolutely nothing wrong and we were great lenders and we've made them hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars and every project that we've ever done with them has been a massive success. But she's using a broken system. She's using a rigged system. And it's very, very sad. And I know the truth will come out in the end. We haven't done a single thing wrong. They're trying to disqualify my father for 2024. He's leading in all the polls. And it's sad that this is the United States of America. And, and right now, make no mistake about it, maybe through your very lenses, the entire world is watching this and they're laughing about what's going on. The entire state of Florida right now, when they value a property like Mar-a-Lago at $18 million, is laughing, is laughing at New York State and laughing at New York State Attorney General and laughing at, quite frankly, a court system. I messed this up, didn't I? Oh, boy. Why, why didn't nobody tell me before I came down here that they had the goods on me? Oh, y'all did? Y'all know I don't be paying attention. Hey, you cannot take us down when there are so many little people depending on us to not pay them. Hey, Christmas and the holidays is coming up. What are they going to do come Christmas time? At least last year, they expected to be paid. What does this city come to? This ain't the New York I know. Can't even do a little financial fraud. That's why we left and went to Florida so we can do our dirt in peace. The whole world is laughing at us. I mean, y'all, the whole world is laughing at y'all. This not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this.